Hi guys, so for today's Scrap Your Stash, I'm going to um, create like a card or a holder for a 5x7 picture of my little daughter's um, school pictures. They just came in. So, funny enough, I already designed it. I did that part, and then I come back and do my intro. And just off the top of my head, I wanted it to be cute and kind of just fancy a little bit. And then I forgot that she had dressed up, which she always does, but <laughs> she was wearing cute little like palazzo-like pantsuit kind of thing with a little sweater. And so what I created for it, I think it's going to work really well. So again, Scrap Your Stash is hopefully something you have in your stash. I am working with the Cricut, whatever program you like, um, you know, for your electronic die cutting, or it's probably something you can make by hand also. Um, I'll make the uh, file available for free. Generally, that means you have to have the same shapes. Uh, I try to use basic shapes, but then I use like anagraphin, um, kind of like cut in um, of an oval. So you would have to own that one or buy it. So just something to think about. But I will have it um, in the description box along with any affiliate links that pertain to this project. And again, those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items through those links. So thank you for doing that if you would like. I happen to have Cricut machines. I've had Cricut machines since they used to advertise them on TV, right? The Cricut Create. I couldn't remember. I was like, what was the name of the first one? Oh, duh. It's Create. So you think I would remember that. But um expressions you know all those guys so like i have these machines i haven't given them any more money just for anything i have all my cartridges if you haven't been around or you have a cricket and you haven't been paying attention they went to all online kind of thing so even if you have the cartridge yeah you can use it in your expressions but you can't really put it into your um air type machines because they won't read them anymore um it just won't and i don't I, I, that's the kind of thing that bothers me guys like why not just let it keep working but anyway they took that ability away so you have to either download or upload all your um your things and yes another thing you used to be able to do you can put your cartridge in and upload it right or say that i have it it won't read it that way so you have to contact cricket and then they have like some kind of weird website thing that you're supposed to put in your serial numbers and sometimes they've got a serial number and a picture of it for whatever reason um, hopefully they've slim, they've like streamlined that. I don't know. So it took a long time and I don't have all my cartridges up with them, but enough to where I can play with it and I don't care. So just know that I have some really old videos about it. Um, uh, but I think I'm going to make one, um, uh, for the five by seven. So, uh, so I can give it to my mom, my dad or whatever. So let's see here. <laughs> one of my aunts, um, from Mexico would laugh. She said, I just say whatever all the time. So she'd say things, you know, obviously she, not obviously, didn't speak a lot of English, but she'd say, yeah, he's always, you know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's how I talk. Um, so we have these five by seven, my little cutie. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't believe she'll be in middle school. She's like such a shorty too. I'm like, she can't go to middle school. <laughs> All right. So we're going to make a little frame for this. So let's go to do that right now on the um, computer. And then, uh, and I'm trying to start to finish because I had no idea what I was looking for trying to do. So let's do that. And then when we come back, we'll get to cutting. Okay, guys. So yeah, this has definitely saved me. We're going to go through step by step. So I just opened up the app. And of course, it wants me to give them more money. And I say no, never again. All right. So let's go <laughs> new project. Um, they changed the look of this again, even from the last video I made. So um I like how we're here, here in the front, this is interesting, um, collections to explore. It's showing me things that are free, things that I've purchased, and things that are like fall related. So that's kind of nice. I never really paid attention to this, but um, I think that's cool. Um, you know, projects people have made, some of them you have to pay for or buy or whatever, or maybe something someone's just sharing. That's cute. Like the little turkey with some lettering on it, something easy to do. So some inspo here. So yeah, it looks a little different. Look at this one. That is very cute. It's Cricut Access, so generally that means you're going to pay for it. But there you go. Okay, so uh, we're going to do a new project, and I want to make like a something for a 5x7. Honestly, I haven't even thought th about this at all. I, I'm doing this part first, and then I go and do my intro, so <laughs> I'm just like, hmm. It probably needs to be two different pieces of paper because it's hard to get well unless you have a piece of paper that's 10 by 7 at least that you're going to score um what do we want to do i to make like a little frame kind of like that last one i did but that was a 4 by 6 image um uh, let me think if it's 10 by 7 so it can be 7 wide by 10 Okay, maybe we do something like that. Let me turn off my email because it's going to keep popping emails in. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, 
So, okay, if I want this to hold a 5x7 picture, and obviously it's a frame, so we need it to be bigger than 5x7. So let's say 6x8. Ooh, 6 would be really tough to do. Um, because if you double that, it's 12 already, right? So again, eh, I kind of wanted this to be one piece of paper, but maybe we would do something a little bit different. So, okay. So let's say we're going to need a rectangle, a couple of them. So just the rectangle. Um, and I want it to be a sharp one. So you know how they don't have a rectangle shape here. They have rounded edges on both those. So I'm going to take a square and I can just close this. And that's a free thing. And I'm going to make my sizing. I'm going to unclick that. That way it doesn't change proportionally. And I'm going to say I want this 6 by Oh, I did eight for some reason. I meant to do six. Hello, six by eight. And return or enter. So we have this piece that's six by eight. And I'm also going to make this smaller so we can see it better. Okay. So I'm going to want two of these, but one of them is also going to have glue tabs. So I don't think I'm just going to copy. Well, I'm going to copy. Well, okay, let's go ahead and duplicate it. So I'm just right clicking, but you can right click to duplicate. But you can also just click on this and duplicate over here. So I'm going to move this over, and I'm going to add some glue tabs to this. So I'm just going to make this one um, six, let's see, six wide. So I want seven wide, seven inch glue. So I have half inch glue tabs. I like a bigger glue tab. By eight and a half, I only want a glue tab on one side. So 8.5. Okay. So we're going to put score lines on this, but I'm not going to do it yet because if I do it uh, first and then I merge things, like let's say I'm going to put a frame shape in here, it's going to like do away with it. It's just gone. So I'll do the score lines at the end. So we just have this, and I mean, you can cut this on your own six by eight piece of paper. Um, but on this one, what I want to do now is take an, I'm going to go image, and I want something pretty, um, like a rectangular shape. It could be an oval. How be, that'd be cute too, huh? Hmm. Let's see. Well, if we do an oval, those are boring. And I also want it to be an oval that I have purchased. So oval, and then I'm going to click on this and say purchased or free. Either one of those. <laughs> uh, if I do purchase and I have it, but you guys don't, then you can't just use this thing. But um, I want something prettier, like scrolly looking, like fancy. I don't know. Let's see what we have. I'm sure an Anna Griffin, I was going to say, I must have something that's cute. Look, that's probably an Anna Griffin one. I said that funny. Anna Griffin. Um, I might have to go back to that one. It looks like the only one that really is pretty cute. Uh, we have this weird one. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Ooh, this is pretty good. It's going to cut it out, so this whole weird shape will be there, and I don't really want that. It needs to be kind of simple. Some of those are weird. Like, what was that? This one is like a clip, but it's like a funky one. <laughs> it makes it like a little clippy. Uh, a heart. That's cute. Uh, this is nice. Just a scalloped. Ooh, I like the shape of this one on the inside. Interesting. Let's do this one. It's going to be a little more complicated, guys. Okay, and it's sideways for some reason. So I'm going to take that guy and rotate it uh, 90 degrees. And I want it to be in here. And I'm just going to pull this because what I'm going to do is get rid of the blue part. We want just the cut of the other one. And I want it big enough that it will look good. That looks really good. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this guy is come down here to contour. So right now that's the only one that's highlighted. So if I click contour, I don't want this one. So I'm clicking it, and that's going to hide it. So all it's going to do is this cut, which is what I would want. And I'm not centering this right now. And I'll tell you why, because if I say center it, it's going to center it with a half-inch glue tab down here. I'm going to put a glue tab down here. And I don't want it centered with the glue tab. I want it centered up here, you know. So I think I'm just going to eyeball that. But I will center it this way. I'm going to highlight both of these guys. And I'm going to align it. Um, horizontally because that can be and hey look at that I already eyeballed it pretty well so you know what I'm gonna leave it just like that and then you can imagine half an inch is taken off this bottom part it'd be like here so I'm totally eyeballing that and I don't think even if it's not quite right it's negligible so I'm gonna highlight both of these guys and I'm going to you can either slice or you can combine combine has different items so weld it I don't want to weld it 
Um, you can do all these different things, but all I want to do is slice it, to be honest. So I'm just going to click slice, and then I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to remove this. And I can throw this away because I don't need that for anything, so I'm just going to delete it. Now this guy, I want to do something else with. So let me just move this over so we can work on this. Um, just the way it is right now, I want to do an offset. But I want to do the offset not inside of it. I want to do, yeah, there we go, the offset on the outside. So I'm going to make it a little tighter. Okay, so apply. And now we have this offset. And they're perfectly lined up together. And all I want to do now, oh, hold on, <laughs> go back. I don't want to grab it. I just want to highlight both these guys together. And we're going to slice again. And what's going to leave me with is this piece I'm going to throw away, delete. And it's going to leave me this cute little piece that's going to go on top of that. And it'll be like this uh, decorative piece, right? Okay. Um... All right, so we have that, we have this, we have this. Okay, I don't need this. I'm going to keep it there just in case something happens. So with this one, what I'm going to do now, actually just move things around. I'm going to put this up in this top corner because that helps me do what I want to do. And I'm going to grab a score line. So under shapes, we want a score line. And we know this is eight and a half inches long. So I can put the tray away. Uh, I'm going to take that guy and make it eight and a half inches long over here. So 8.5 right uh, let's see so right here oh actually well maybe before I do that um, let's go ahead and duplicate that because we're gonna need two of them also and then we're gonna need another one that's gonna go this way uh, along the bottom that needs to be six and a half inches I think I might cut away a little bit of this. So, well, okay. I'm going to say it's kind of a pain to make this. You're going to make a little triangle that cuts out a notch at the end here just to make it more stylized and it'll work better. But it's kind of a pain. So let me... I'm going to make, let me see, a square that's half an inch. Let's do squares. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's painful, but I'm going to do it. Let's do a square. And the squares need to be half inch. So let it do its thing. I'm not going to unhook that. I'm just going to do 0.5. And it makes them both 0.5. And we're going to need... I don't really like the way this looks. I'm not going to lie. Because it's going to take this chunk off, which is fine. It's just not my favorite look. Okay? <laughs> I'd rather do a little triangle off the corner. Um, but it's kind of a pain to work with the triangles. Okay, fine. Let's, let's not do it. If you want to do a square... You would just put it here and then slice it, right? You highlight both of them, you slice, and it's going to take that little chunk off. So when you go to fold it, it's going to fold perfectly. Um, just the top is still going to be straight across. Okay, you know what? Let's do that. I know. I'm sorry. I don't want to be wishy-washy. But okay, let's do that, and let's duplicate it. And let's change the color of these two because I feel like... Just so you can see something different. Okay, so I'm going to take this guy, and I'm going to line him up right down at the very bottom corner and you can even use your navigation like um, for some reason it's not here anymore here so it's at 0.5 which is fine 0 0.05 it should be at 0 0.00 so let's just make it 0 and then this one should be at 8 and that's good and if you highlight those together we grab them we can do a slice and now we got rid of that little chunk Okay, so I can delete that. I can even delete this one. I probably didn't have to keep it. Now we're going to do the same thing with this one and line it up down here. Uh, bring forward because I can see it's going to the back. So I'm right clicking saying bring forward. And I'm just placing it right here. But again, you probably want to use your navigations telling it you want it at 6.5 and 8. And then we're going to highlight that. Sorry, we're going to grab those two and do a slice again. And that's it. And at the very top, I'm just going to leave it. So you can imagine we just took half an inch off. So this honestly can just be eight inches if we wanted. So I'm going to change it back to eight inches. Um, it doesn't matter if it, it was still eight and a half. I'm going to delete that one and then just copy this one again. So duplicate it. And we're going to line that up over here. And I'm going to place it there. But you also go ahead, go ahead sorry, and click more and say you want it at half inch. 
and at zero, no. Oh yeah, yeah, on the Y zero because it's just at the very top, right? The Y at the very top and then half an inch in. And then this guy, we want it at Y at the very top also. Look at Y zero, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a little bit off. Y zero and the X at six and a half, okay? And then we need one more. Oh, that one's in the back for whatever reason. Let me let me go back. Let me just say undo. Nope, mm -mm, not gonna work. It got hidden behind because it wasn't bringing to forward, but that's okay. Let's go shape. Let's click this one, and then we're gonna need one more. And we want this. See, it's still there. It's just in the back. Actually, while I'm here, I'm gonna click on this really quick and say move to f bring forward, just so we can see it. Okay, and then this little guy, I'm gonna right click and say, I guess it's fine. If it's not brought forward, okay, good. Uh, rotate it 90 degrees. And we just need this one to be, uh, what do we say? Uh, six inches wide, I guess. Oh, you guys, I have a headache right now. Okay, let's put that here. And I'm just going to line it up. Again, you can eyeball it, but let's go to more and just make sure we've positioned it. We want 5.5 on the X, right? X X is this way, guys. Y is up and down. X is uh, horizontal. Y is up and down. So on the X axis, I want it at half an inch in. And at the Y, I want it at uh, 8. Okay. Now we highlight all of this. That should highlight everything. And we're going to attach it. You're not flattening it. You're not doing it. You can't do it anyway. We're just attaching it. So now this is all one piece, right? And our machine is going to do the score lines for us. It's going to make our little frame. We have this little cutie already ready to go. Let's bring it to forward. That's part of what? <laughs> bring to front. Let's just say that. Okay, it's going to be there. And then this back piece is going to stick to that one. And then we have this piece. I'm just keeping it here just in case because I don't want to redo all that. But I don't think I need it anymore. So I can probably just delete that, to be honest. Um, so I'm just going to delete it. Uh, you know, while we're here, do we want, you know, Miranda's in fifth grade. Do you want fifth grade or five or fifth or a little strip of something that says fifth grade? That might be cute, huh? Okay, let's see. Let's go back to, well, we can do a basic shape. I'm going to go back to image and say um, like a little banner or a tag or something. Oh, this is cute, right? Um, oh, look at this one. I mean, this is really, oh, let's go with this one. Okay, I'm going to close that up. And let me see what this actually looks like. Is it two pieces? Let me eyeball that. Nope, nope, <laughs> that's not what I meant. I wanted to see how it detaches. Okay, so this is one piece and then this other piece. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so obviously I need that to be smaller. I'm just going to drag it. That's really cute, guys. Okay, maybe a little bit smaller. I want to cover this area. Okay, and then now I also want some lettering. Now that might be the hard part. <laughs> So I'm like, oh, let me put some wording on here, but then it has to kind of follow that shape. But maybe it doesn't. Let's see. Let's do text. Let's say fifth. Oh, fifth grade. And let's do. I don't want a basic cut. I want. Ugh, I want pen. And then I want to change that to. Well, we can see what it looks like writing it's kind of whatever uh i can go with something fancier what i was trying to do and see is if we can twist this at all in a way to rotate it even though it's stiff you know um maybe we still have to say fifth grade but even though it's not super cute it can just kind of fit in here does that look good Hmm, not bad. Let me try a different font. Oh, what happened? Nope, what was that? Okay, <laughs> let's try a different font. Um, I'll go in here and I want a font that I have purchased. And 
I want it to have a writing font because sometimes it'll show you everything and I do want it to have a, actually a writing font. And this fancy lettering. What does that one look like? Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, that one's weird. Hold on. Am I, what am I looking at? I feel like something's not right. Is that how it looks? Oh, yeah, I see why. That's weird. Yeah, no, let's not do that one. Okay, not that one. Let's pick something else. Um, maybe this one? That one's not that pretty, but at least it is more like what I would want. So, again, it's not following the curve, but I think it's okay. Okay, that looks good. Um, the kerning on these lettering is weird. Uh, let me see, what can I do about that? Oh, hold on, we have curved. I don't know that's going to curve the way I want it to. See what I'm saying? Like, I guess what I could do is do the fifth one way and then the grade down a different way with the separate that, which is kind of a pain, guys. I don't know that I really care about that much to do that. <laughs> Let's see. Eh. Can I grab these? It would be cool if you could grab it because then you can make one go one way, one go the other. But what I would do is separate the fifth and the grade, right? And then have one curve one way and curve the other one the other way. But I think that that's not bad. Uh, what I was talking about, the kerning, the spacing, the letter spacing, I want it tighter. And you can grab some of them and move it yourself. Like that E just looks like it's so off. But okay. All right. Right there. And I'm going to highlight all this and attach it. Again, we don't have to flatten. Well, I guess you can do that, but I'm going to attach it. Um, oh, actually, let's not see. That's the problem. Let's undo. Sorry. Why is that not undoing the way I would want? Okay. This is weird. Ugh. Let me go undo, undo undo okay to there so what i want to do now is take this piece away and let's um oh gosh hold on guys Doo -doo -doo. i don't want this piece stuck to this piece there's a way to do this and i don't know why i can't think of it right now so let's oh ungroup Okay, so I want to ungroup these things. That's what it is. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So this guy should be able to do its own thing. Okay, that's all. Ungroup. Ooh, did I move this? That doesn't look very good anymore. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's so annoying. For whatever reason, it moved that. I don't want to move that. Let's just put it back where I want it. That looks pretty good, maybe a little bit lower. So I'm just gonna use my, there you go. All right, I'm gonna highlight these two and attach, okay? So now this guy's separate from those, which is fine. I'm not gonna mess with the measurements or anything. So this is it, this is my project. So it's gonna look something like this when I actually get it done. This can spring to front, just so you can see what that looks like. And something like that, yeah, I think that's good okay um, and again I should have said this at the beginning sorry you want to set your machine to be one of the bigger machines because if you have it set to joy extra or Cricut joy and um, it won't let you bring in larger things because it knows it can only cut so much what is the Cricut venture oh my god <laughs> is that the other machine anyway Cricut Explorer family fine or Cricut Explorer 3 or whatever but this is fine and then I'm gonna click make and, um, okay, I'm going to save it as five by seven frame card. I don't know. Um, again, it might not work for you if you don't cloud or cloud a computer. I don't care about this. <laughs> okay. Um, 
it'll only let you make it if you own those shapes, but otherwise you can pay for them, I guess. So that's up to you. If you like the project enough to pay for those things, go for it. But you can manipulate it to look like, you know, follow the steps or start with mine, remove the things that you have to pay for, right? Which would be some of those shapes um, and add your own. Okay. All right. We're going to get to cutting. And yeah. I'll meet you at my work surface. Okay, so I have two pieces of, actually this is some really heavyweight cardstock. Um, it's not just cardstock, but nice stuff. And I think that's what I'll do the background, like the actual card with. And the first thing he wants me to cut is this um, frame. So I think I'll do gold. And I have a nice new sticky sheet here. I did my uh, daughter's little Halloween tags on here. Um, Let's see. So it needs at least, what I love when you look at this is, again, you can make these all one color and then, you know, all these things. So you just run it once. So like, let's say I know this is going to be gold. So I would cut a piece of paper that's like six by eight and I would pop it just in that quadrant. And if they're all the same color, the yellow, like let's say that's also black. Um, that's the next thing I'm going to cut. And maybe it's right here. And then maybe the other one's right here. And I would just splice in pieces of paper in those areas. We used to call them quilts. Um, and we just run it once, right? The machine's going to do it all at one time, but I didn't do that, so I'm just going to do what I need each color at a time, but you can save some time by doing that. Let's turn this guy on. Let's open it. Uh, it's going to need a pen, and I always have the black pen that the machine came with. I know I have, like, a hundred and something other colors, but this is the one I go to, so <laughs> I'm going to pop the black pen in, but if you wanted to make, you know, a pen color that coordinates with better, like, where this is black, and black is going to coordinate really well. But um, I'm going to go ahead and take that in. And it's already probably set at Cardstock Plus because that's just generally what I do. So I'm going to click Continue over here. And it needs to find the machine, which is always fun. Even though I'm standing right here, the machine's right here. I'm touching it. It's like, I don't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, it found it. Okay, there we go. And Cardstock Plus, sometimes it does two cuts or it just has more pressure. So we'll see. I might have to run it again. Um, but okay, I mean, I'm ready to go, so let's go. I'm just going to press the Cricut sign over here. Uh, we have my pen in, the A spot, and yep, yeah, it's just going to cut that, and it's going to ask me for the next colors, and just keep going. I'll be back. So it's almost done cutting this. It's going to do it once. It looks like it keeps pausing, which is kind of weird. <laughs> like, it does some, it stops, it does some more. Um, before I remove it, I kind of lift up the corner to see if it cut all the way through, and it did, so that's good. So now I'll go ahead and unload the mat. If it didn't, I would just repeat the cut. But I can see that it cut really nicely. And now I have actually a really nice shape for another project, I suppose. And then we have this piece that we wanted. Right, so I have this nice guy, but I have this piece. And the next one it wants to do is, you know, my little frame here. And you can see, you know, it needs almost nine inches of paper. And so I don't think it's going to make it with this one. This only goes to eight and a quarter because this is our um, European size paper. So I'm going to pop that back in there. And honestly, with this one, I think I'm going to say that I want it to cut twice. So what happens is when you want it to cut twice for sure, like this is once, I can manipulate the material and... So it's cardstock plus, but maybe I'm going to change that. Um, let's see here. Let's go back. Sorry. Uh, let's go to what's it on fabric, fabric plus poster board. Oh, let's do poster board. That should cut it twice. I think, uh, all I did was turn the knob. Okay, I'm going to load this up and, you know, let it cut. And then if it doesn't cut twice, I'll send it to cut twice because this paper is thicker. All right. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so silly. I don't need the pen yet. <laughs> Hello, we need the scoring tool. <laughs> so it did make a black line here, but that'll be okay. So I'm going to pop the scoring tool in, take that out. Oh, I'm so silly. Um, you know, they should make a clicky sound. I don't feel like that's actually in there. What's going on? Get in there. That's weird. What is happening? Yeah, it's not. If it's not one thing, it's another. It is not popping in here. Did this thing get stuck? No. 
It's not letting me push my scoring tool in. All right, well, I'm going to fight with this. I don't know what the problem could be. You know, it might be... I'm going to say cancel. Press the letter mode material. See what happened? See? I, haven't, I don't use this thing enough to remember. Actually, that probably would have worked because it's just making a line anyway. I think with the scoring tool, the reason it's not popping in is because it... It might be like, I don't know, something's up. Yeah, see, now it's letting me push it in. I think before, because it was working and I pulled it out, you know, um, something happened. Okay, so let's do that one again. Let's go back. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, I guess I don't have to go back. It's still on poster board. I'm going to say go. Sorry about that, guys. Don't put the pen in until you need it. But I didn't. I forgot that I had score, score lines in this project, you know. There we go. That's much better. <laughs> All right. And it didn't let me push the score tool in there, because like I said, I, I you know, paused it. I popped it out and I guess it was like engaged so it wasn't allowing me to push that in there so now it's in there and it's gonna cut and I'm just curious to see if it cuts twice because I said poster board let's see I remember I used to say like one of three passes or one of two passes but no it just says cutting zero percent all right it still says cutting 0%. Okay, and it's obviously cutting, but okay, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so it did it once. Let me see if it cut through. Wow, okay. I have a feeling that has to do with the pressure, huh? Not great. Look at the way this paper <laughs> left that on the side, but okay. All right, well, that's pretty much all I wanted to walk you guys through. The rest of it, I'll just um, go for it. And again, at this point, once I remove this, oh, it didn't quite cut this area here. That's not great. I'm going to pull it from behind, to be honest, see how it's tearing. I'm okay with that because that's going to be in the back anyway. So I pulled it the way I pulled it on purpose so that it would look clean. Um, okay, now I will replace this guy with the pen, just to have the pen ready, even though the pen I don't need for a couple other cuts. There it goes. All right, I'm just going to keep cutting. Okay, guys. Ooh, I have a good eye. <laughs> I was like, I just need a scrap for this, and look at that. Like, perfect. Um... Very interesting. It didn't cut super well. Um, I saw this on Cardstock Plus, and this is uh, heavyweight material here. Ooh, not great, but that's okay. Again, it's going to be in the back, so... Ooh, that is, like, the worst. What happened? Okay, that one hurts okay. Weird. Not good on this top part here. It's, like, totally shredding it. Okay, let me clean up a little bit, and we'll put it together when we're done. Hey guys, so I haven't used this in a while. Let's see. Hopefully we get a clean cut. A little guillotine here. Five by seven. So if this is at five, I just want to make sure it's going to cut right down the center. It looks like it. <laughs> I cut a little bit off into the next one. So that's, you know, just the way it printed out. Because look, it's pretty much the same. Eh, a little bit. Um, okay, so we have this guy. And... Let's take this guy, and again, we have our score lines. You know, this is some really thick paper. I don't know how well the score lines translated. It's not bad, not bad. Just going to be careful to score those. I'll score the other side, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So this is the part that I was saying. I, you know, it could stay there just straight across. I think it looks a little more nuanced, a little nicer when you give it a little divot in there. So I'm just going to do that with scissors. And now you can plan that on the Cricut. It's just a pain. <laughs> and I already spent so much time going over this other stuff. And same thing with this. If you, That's fine. Or you can just kind of notch a little bit away from this. But that's not bad. That actually works really well. But I'll still go ahead and notch away a little bit. You don't have to. So we designed it so you don't have to do that. But not bad. And... I think I'm going to stick the this gold part on here before I put it all together. That way you don't have that knobbiness in the back of the, the thickness, you know. So I'm going to get some glue on this guy and just place it down over here. Sorry, I just hear people walking around upstairs. And so I'm trying to do this fast. <laughs> they can come eat breakfast. And let's get this on here. Okay. And just line that out. Okay, I'm going to hold that down, and I will be right back, possibly after making breakfast. While that's setting up, I'm going to go ahead and take this off of here. Again, cut weird in some ways for some reason. I'll put glue behind that and go ahead and glue that together. Not bad. I tell you, that E was just off on its own, and it's still off on its own. But anyway, you can just grab that one letter and move it if you wanted. But okay. there you go. Is that working on this? You know what? I think 
because this aperture too big. It was looking really big to me, and I'm like, eh. it's still gonna work. What I'm gonna do is pop that in there, and then I'm gonna put the fifth grade down here. But I will adjust that so when I share with you with you guys the free um, file, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller, okay? So that when you put your picture in, it's not missing a piece like that. Uh, you guys, sometimes things happen. <laughs> Alright, um, this is the back of the cut side. You know, it doesn't really look that much different with the Cricut. You know, the way it cuts in. A lot of times you have like these like raw edges anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Right on top of this. And essentially it should be the same. <laughs> right, there we go. This paper, I've had it for a long time. Look, it's kind of cracking. A lot of issues, guys. Alright, um... I'm going to tuck these behind this tab, and um, what I'm saying is, I'll show you here, uh, that way when you put your picture in, it doesn't bump into this tag, so it's kind of back there, so I'll put glue here, and I'm going to hold it down, okay? I just want to show you what that looks like, sorry, I just heard people were walking down, and had to pause, but really get the glue on that, okay? Trying to get all of your hands, that'd be great, <laughs> and just get that down, okay? I'm going to hold that down, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so there it is. You know, it's so hard to work with the black. This is, like I said, um, like a chipboard, and it's very sensitive <laughs> and also very hard to work with, um, like rigid. So anyway, I'm thinking about putting this down here in a way that kind of covers that area, and I don't know. I had some little flowers I can play with, but maybe if I did that... Um, I was thinking about these cute flowers, guys, from the um, swaps, and I saw that I have a lot of yellow flowers in here. I mean, look at those beautiful things, and then these guys. And Miranda's little dress have, like, little daisies. They're white and yellow, but um, I was thinking these little flowers would be really sweet, maybe. Like, that one has leaves with it. Maybe this one that doesn't. I mean, these are all so pretty. <gasps> maybe something like that. I don't know. So let me get this. And because, again, I made this a little... I made it big enough so that I would have, like, some flex. And this paper is just not working with me, so it's kind of pushing back against me. But, you know, um, I'm going to size the final project a little different, okay, guys? Um, as far as the um, aperture there. So I'm going to put a little piece of red liner tape here because I need the picture to stay up on its own. Like, I want to slide it in here, and as much as I can bring it down without showing too much there. So that's where it needs to be. Do something like that. Maybe a little farther over to the right. Ugh. Hold on. Just picking up the tape again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Give the tape a little bit, a little bit to the right. There we go. Yeah, I'll definitely adjust that frame. This has to be much smaller. Okay. Um, you know, if this wasn't... Actually, I can put it, put it right there, <laughs> and that would work. Again, it has this kind of thing to it, though, right? That's kind of what I was looking at. Like, if I put this up a little bit higher... Mm, I don't really like the way that looks because it's just gonna. Well, maybe, maybe. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so maybe we glue that there. And I was trying to see about this. You know, I can mess with that a little bit and then have like another one over here. Very good. <laughs> Let's cover that. Oopsie. All right. First thing I'm going to do is pay attention to where this is, and I think that was good. So I'm going to put some glue right here, behind that, and some glue right down here. Make sure the glue is coming out. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm going to hold that down, and then I'll come back and do the flowers. I'm holding this down, just for this specific project, because again, I don't really like the way it's just open like that. This stuff is super stiff. I don't know how to explain it. You guys remember those little, like, if you had pictures when you were a kid, or like awards, and they would give you a picture? and it would be like in a sleeve <laughs> that's how this reminds me so i'm going to close it up even though i don't want to do that that means they can never well i mean they can pull it apart but i am going to put some glue up there and over here to hold that down it's driving me nuts but it's that same kind of thickness it's really thick i'm really surprised by this paper 
<laughs> so again, it's just some old stuff I had in my stash, so probably should have just gone with heavyweight black paper. Okay, I'm gonna pick off the carriers. Again, I tried to burnish it really nicely, so I can do that. There we go. Oh my goodness. Sorry guys, this is I went to see um, my video, the stuff I did, you know, on the computer, and it was 20 minutes. So I was like, ooh, okay. <laughs> so that's what happens when you just kind of sit and start working on something. Okay. I think you can put more tape in there. I just, I think that's fine for now. And then we want to get these guys stuck down. So I was thinking about some really sticky glue. Oh, well, I'll just use this. Because basically it needs to like go in here <laughs> to hold on to the flower. I don't want to glue it in the center there. And down a little bit because I don't want to cover up the fifth part. And then this guy to cover a little bit more. Someone's calling me. That's fine. I'm not going to answer. Okay, so we have that, that and that. And it's kind of in there. Okay. I'm going to hold those. And then I'll come back. Well, I'm put a little glue behind here and then hold it there. Okay. Okay. Guys, back. Even though I had my little whoopsie, I'm still probably gonna make it the same size because then I have to really work with the numbers and all that stuff, guys. Eh, we'll see. I might shorten it a little bit, or you know, bring it a little tighter. I just wanted room to work, you know, to put the thing in there. So maybe a whole inch was too much. It's really only half an inch on the other side. But anyway, um. And for this specific one, I think I, I did okay. <laughs> all right, there you go. So cute. Um, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. You know, I'll have the free um, uh, cutting file. Of course, like I said, I'm going to adjust that for you. And yeah, I think it came out really cute. I love the colors. I love that it plays off what she's wearing and just really, really sweet. So thanks for the swap flowers, guys. And I will have images come up, links as appropriate in the description box. And I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.